Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know me now coming at you with another video. Yes, another video. Today we have um a full face of reviews, basically. My eyes are primed, so let's talk about the first thing, which is the Juvius Place, the Queen Palette Fumi X Juvius. Um, I don't think you can get this anymore. Um I checked on their website at this moment, it's no longer on the website. Are no longer in stock i don't know which one comes first but as i just trust the out juvia's place and new shadow formula because remember the last time i was always like oh it's so pigmented with the shadows are like a little stiff like the, the shimmers are a little stiff but you can work around with it you just spray it and then it was like this whole thing where it does you know fade away through the day when i wore this after reviewing it um, well, after first time using it on Black History Month, the end of Black History Month, the um, full face of black old makeup, I actually really like it. Okay? Okay. Okay. The pink stayed bright, vibrant. The purple, you could see. It was just like a whole thing. So I'm going to go straight into Sister to Sister. That's just like my brow bone highlight shade. And... What you do with this is that you tap it before you blend it because you're tapping it. See, you get that pigment. You kind of can't see it because this shade and my concealer and my skin tone, it just like blends in together, but it's like the perfect brow bone shade. You can see, you can see the difference. You can see the difference, but it's like the perfect brow bone shade. You can see the difference. Perfect brow bone shade. But yes, the, 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 the trick to doing Juvia's Place shadows is tapping it on before you blend it so you could get the pigment that you want. Because some shadows you could just go in and straight like put it on and blend it. And some shadows you just have to tap and then blend in some shadows. If you do both of it and maybe and it's patchy and stuff, you probably need a dry base. If it's this dry shadow, then a sticky base. So it's like a certain things that you have to work around with. I just like straight like boom, bam, boom, second, and I don't have to like do anything else with it. But that's not how Juvia's Play shadows are. It's not like just boom, bam, boom, second, and like you have nothing to do with it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a seven, the pink shade. I really like this pink shade. I'm just going to tap it as the inner to the middle of the eye for the transition. You see, you got to tap the color on so it could be pigmented and so it could have like boom, bam, boom effect. Because if you just like swirl your brush around and then swirl it on your eye, like blend it on your eye, it's just not going to have the same effect. But that shade right there, it's like more kick up in the pan than sister to sister. These shades are very, 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 very 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 um powdery not to powdery that it goes on your face because you know you notice I didn't go like this to get it off and it's not on my face and that's great for a pigment but it does like it does have some kickback in the pan that's all I gotta say all right before I blend everything we go into Olay the red shade, yes, this time I'm using red instead of the purple. It's not really that much to do here with the six pan palette, but, ooh, that red is beautiful. It is good to create some looks. I mean, you can just do a straight pink and then the glam shade, you can just do straight red and the glam shade or the glow red and FDV approved. Or you could do uh, the purple with FD, the approved, and then all of them is sister, sister, 
and the brow bone but if you're lighter than me then like sister sister the crease for that transition for that nice blend me i really don't have a crease shade the colors are my crease shade that's why i put it like that wow wow that red is nice but also a lot of kickback in the pan that's just beautiful right there i love just putting the red on and then blending it out now i'm gonna take sister sister that shade that we all love for that brow bone and i'm gonna blend out this shit it's like i'm blending it out and blending it mixing it it's looking good it's looking really good going back into Olay a little bit perfect and now i'm done with this and i'm gonna go in with a flat top brush and I think I'm just gonna go in with glam I'm not gonna do the whole transition um, of two colors type thing and this formula is so different than her other formulas of her shimmers it's not as dry and it just goes on without any concealer without any spray just goes on perfect no no transfer on on the bottom of my lid like it's just perfect which is weird i don't really get perfect i really don't get perfect when it comes to Julia's play shadows but these shadows this is where it is like these shadows shine and I love it and I recommend if you could get your hands on this palette get your hands on this palette because this is amazing I mean you can get the hands on this palette if they still sell the Valentine's Day um, mystery bundle because I believe this palette was in every single one all the variations that I saw this, this palette was in every single one there's no other palette available they're just really trying to get rid of this they were like, we have backup in stock. Let's just put it in there. Let's just put it in there. But yeah, this palette is actually bomb. So it makes me actually, see that's what I don't like about Julie's Place is like some of their palettes I'm like, yes, yes, I love, I stand for. And then some of their palettes I'm just like, no, 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 it's too dry, no, no. It disappears after a day like it just doesn't work with my eye shape it's like it's always something it's always something with them it's like it's either I love it or I hate it and that's that's the shadow formula like that's their palettes you either love Juvia's Place eyeshadows or you hate them and that's how I feel with their palettes and that's the reason why inconsistency is just I don't buy from them but now I'm like maybe I should I should look back into their palettes because I might have missed something. And I don't want to be that person that be like, oh I don't like the previous place palettes. And I like one. You know? Yeah. And now it makes me think like maybe the Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette was the best Ace Beauté palette probably would have been the best one that I ever tried from them because I tried a lot of Ace Beauté palettes and I just I can't with the formula I just know but I feel the same way about Juvie's Place but I'm gonna keep on testing this out because with Juvie's Place shadows I could love it one minute and then after you know time goes on it's just it's no it's a no for me it's a no for me after time goes on i'm just like nope i don't like this no more 
take it away from me. This, me and these, this palette doesn't work. And I end up decluttering this palette. I did, I did decluttering the palette. So it's like, it's like, will it work for me or will it won't? Um, I should never put that much eyeshadow on the bottom because now I look like I have a raccoon eyes. Ooh. Anyways, the next thing is a duo from Tristique. I believe this duo is $44. Um, one thing is, uh, two, no, it's $48. 48. The prices will be down below. Um, this is a Tristique uh, line sharpen and smudge eye pencil in Santoroni back sand. Um, this broke on me. Like, literally, I dropped it once. And it broke in half, so I only had like a little bit left. Um, so that's a bummer. I like how it's retractable. I like how it has a sharpener at the end. Well, not a sharpener, a smudger at the end, which I love. It's great for the um, lower lash line, the, um, the inner eye is great for that. And that's what I like to use it. It's smudge. It's not fully waterproof, but it's not to the point that if you cry, it will go like all over and everything else. I mean, it does go away, but it just it when it goes away, it just looks like it's smudged to perfection. So it's so weird, but I like it. What I don't like is that it's very easy broken. Like, it's really, really easy to break. And I do not like that. I do not like that at all. I think this one retails for $24. Again, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to assume that I know what it is. It will be linked down below in the description box if you want to know everything. The prices and how many shades and everything else. It will be down below in the description box. The next thing is this, which is weird. Um, this is a Tristique, um, pencil, not pencil, um, mascara. It has a curler on one side, which curls your lashes. Which is, I believe, is, like, totally a gimmick. Most of my lashes are always curled, but it just, it's just, it's just not it. Because it makes it uneven, because it's so small. Also, like close together, so it's like if you it could like totally like rip your eyelashes out of your head if you're you're not you know careful. But yeah, I just I I don't really use this side, and I think a lot of people that have this just don't use this side, and they just go like this. But I really do like the mascara. That mascara is wavy. When I say wavy, I mean wavy. This is not for sale. It's made in Italy. Good after. Oh, it's made six months. Oh, okay. Some mascaras are like 12 months. This is like six months. I, I, I respect that. Some are like, you know, the weird months, like nine months or eight months. This is six months. Okay. Probably be done with it in like three months because I've used it a lot. But to be honest, I like to use mascara until it dries. This is a very hybrid formula. It's like liquid but then dry. It's like you gotta wait for a second because the first time I used it, it was like a little, a little messy. It um transferred, but the second time I used it, it didn't. So it's like you gotta. Well, I did take it off of my brush. But it's just, it, it's perfect. Like, it just grabs your lashes. It lengthens. <sighs> okay, let me see what's in the box. The Eye Duo 100% lengthening effect, 100% curving effect. It does have a curving effect. It does have volumizing effect. And it does have lengthening effect. It basically does everything that it says it's going to do. That's the crazy thing. 
It does everything that it says it's gonna do. I'm gonna do another coat and then I'm gonna show you the difference up close. So, of course, I did it off the camera. Obviously, I have like shimmer down here because I did it too much shimmer. You saw me do it. But yeah, so it does, it does lengthen and curl. Well, lengthen and volumize lashes. It makes my lashes actually look like lashes because my lashes don't stand out by itself. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. All right, I'm gonna prime my face and then I'm gonna come back with the next topic, well, next item. All right, this right here, this foundation is $20 and it has 0.84 fluid ounces. It is 12 months expiration time after you use it, like majority of foundations besides some that are weird and say six months like elf which is weird but you know it is what it is it's made in france i got it in the shade 66.5 and <clears throat> what else it's a natural finish as you can see i put it on my face it's medium coverage it's so true it is medium coverage it is long wearing it does go past the eight hour mark. It is hydrating. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid. It is fragrance free. Um, it has anti-pollution. I, I That's what it says, I don't know. It says it's infused with skincare benefits. I haven't seen it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, it says hyaluronic acid hydrates, red algae extracts, brown algae extracts, um, provides an anti-pollution protective shield and hydrates, um, best skin ever liquid foundation delivers a second skin effect and provides long lasting hydration while covering imperfections. It does cover imperfections but not fully, it's not full coverage. It is a medium coverage, sheer to medium coverage. Um, it does make your skin smoother. Like they said, it is made out of recycled glass, 30% recycled glass, which is great for the environment. Again, Sephora Collection has just been doing more clean beauty skin, like just natural products. You, they still have their fan favorites that are not clean beauty, but the new stuff that they have been releasing have been in the clean beauty range. Um... Clinically tested on 21 volunteers, 95% of women felt results was ultra natural after 28 days of use. 100% felt that their skin was smoother. I do agree with that. Um, after 20 days of use, 28 days of use, I basically used this all month. It was either this or the Elf Foundation besides those two days that I wore the... Um, Born, the, born to run, born, um, the next one, um, but every, anyways, like, this has been my foundation that I've been testing, um, this is supposed to have, it's supposed to hydrate, for, um, skin, it's supposed to hydrate skin up to 12 hours, and it's infused with skincare benefits, it doesn't do past 12, it doesn't do to 12 hours, I'm going to show you my snaps so you understand what I'm talking about. But first, I'm going to powder my face because I need to powder my face. Okay, I came back. Highlight is on. My whole, my whole, whole, whole thing is on. All right, so let's just go. I decided to put 
flush on my face and this side is like melting more through and this side is like sticking on his skin can you even see that there you can see the difference you kind of can see the difference I've been really doing natural looks. It's definitely a difference. And this is my face with um, flash. No flash back with this foundation. So this is what my face is looking like after eight hours. Eyeshadow on, still on point. Eyelashes, you're good. This is a foundation review. Like it said, it said smooth, it said it's, smooth. Which is crazy because the crackling side is where I feel like more dry, I feel dry on this side and I still feel hydrated on this side. So it side. might look more hydrated, a little matte right here on this area, but it looks more hydrated than this side, but it doesn't feel yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. Like around hour eight, you definitely can see my flaws. You definitely have to pat it with powder. At the end of the day, or just it. It said that this lasts for fifteen hour hydration, so I'm gonna I'm gonna twelve put hour. hours. hours. Put it on fifteen hours, see what's gonna happen. I mixed it with a different um, foundation, but it's twelve hours. By itself. By itself, it looks really good. This actually was the day that I filmed the end of the month of the video. So that was at 12 hours. The face still looked hydrated, but it just, it fell apart. It fell apart. So it does last up to 12 hours, but to be honest, to full beat, like it would last up for 10 hours. <laughs> that's, that's when I started seeing the lines right here, everything else. Well, I started seeing that in the eight hours, but I could have just like blotted it, you know, fix it up, finessed it, and then, it would have lasted until 10 hours. That's when like majority of the foundation was off. It does transfer. It's just, it's not it. It's not it. Um, when it comes to longevity past eight hours. But the hydration is still there. So this was a, is a great mixing foundation and also is a great by itself foundation because as I said, after eight hours, the powder, it made it crackle. It just made it just not as good as it by itself um yes at the end i couldn't tell which one is which but it's because it, it, it wore it wore the same it wore the same it wore the same and it's crazy because it did go into my lines faster than the, the set side but it just was it was better. It was better by itself than being set for the rest of the day. But I said it anyways because I like that. And also I like having a base for my blush. Because like, like I said, it just 
stuck to one spot the other one it blended perfectly i mean it still blended but it just it took longer and it was harder but it still blended um yeah so that's it that's it for this video i hope you guys like it um we talked about the mascara the eyeliner the foundation we talked about the palette which i actually do love which is a surprise for me because i I don't really love Julie's play shadows that much. I mean, but to be honest, I do love them, and then I started to, and then I started to not like them after time. I mean, it does says it does say twenty four months. I think after like twelve months, after a year, formula does change. That's my opinion, and that's when I'm just like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And then I start having a negative response to Julie's place palettes. I think that's what was going on. I will look at my other videos, but this 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 palette is really nice. This palette is really nice. I like the eyeshadow look that I completed. Can you even see this hat on? No, you can't see it with this hat on. Boom. Boom. But you can see that the pink has faded a little bit. I mean, technically, I did just, like, mix it with the red at the end. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened because first time, last time that I used it, which was like actually yesterday, um, the pink, I did an all pink look and I did um, the inner corner was FDV approved and the pink stayed. I think it's the, the concealer. The concealer that I used before was more tackier. The concealer I used this time was just a matte concealer to just like put over the lids. Um, so I think it's a different concealer because that's also the time the first time that I used it um, What I use I used a tacky concealer So I think you need a tacky base with this and not a dry base because a dry base just makes the shadows just like Go from vibrant to unvibrant like just disappear and that's not where it's at um, but that's it for this video. Video right here, video right head right here. Hope you guys like this review. And I have more in my playlist. Go check my playlist out. Go check out my channel if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.